أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لقد أرسلنا رسلنا بالبينات وأنزلنا معهم الكتاب والميزان ليقوم الناس بالقسط صدق الله العظيم We shall be beginning today with the fifth section of Surah Al-Anbiya. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim, bismillahir rahman ar-rahim. Wa laqad atayna Ibrahim arushdahu min qabl wa kunna bihi alameen. Is qala li abihi wa qawmihi ma'a hadhi al-tamasilu allati antum laha aakifoon. قالوا وجدنا آبانا لها عابدين قال لقد كنتم أنتم وآباؤكم في ضلال مبين قالوا وجئتنا بالحق أم أنت من اللاعبين صدق الله العظيم In the next two sections of this surah and beyond we have a mention of so many prophets and also some of the messengers of Allah سبحانه وتعالى we have been having a list of the names of some of the prophets. We first of all had, and I said that it is a flower pot of the names of the prophets of Allah in Surah Al-Nisa, again at one position in Surah Al-Imran, but here it is going to be a bit in detail. But please be acquainted with two terms of Quran. Just as I have told you, that in order to awaken and activate within the human being the dormant consciousness about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Quran either refers to the signs and the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, at taskeer be ala illa, or refers to the historical events, big events, big days, when you know the big chastisement came to the nations to whom the messengers were sent. And that is called At-Taskeer bi ayyam Allah. In the same way, there are two terms regarding the accounts of the prophets and rusul and messengers of Allah in Quran. One is Amba ur rusul Amba is the plural of Naba. Naba it means a very important news, very big news. أَمَّا يَتَسَالُونَ عَنَ النَّبَعِ الْعَظِيمِ الَّذِي هُمْ فِيهِ مُخْتَلِفُونَ So Abba'ul Rusul, under this heading we have the account of those messengers of Allah whose nations were destroyed totally. I have named several times. To begin with, Hazrat Nuh a.s. Then Hazrat Hud, Hazrat Saleh, Hazrat Lut, Hazrat Shwaib, Hazrat Musa. These six, their accounts are similar. They came to their nations. They called them to worship none except Allah and accept them as messengers of Allah. The nations as a whole rejected and then as a punishment they were devastated, annihilated. But there is another account of the prophets. You know, their personal virtues, their high moral character, their perseverance, for example. So all these things, but not that they came and they demanded that obey me and have faith in me, and if you don't believe me, you will have chastisement, not in that way. The most glaring example was in Surah to Yusuf. In full 13 sections of that surah, the story of Hazrat Yusuf has been told in detail, but nowhere that matter comes that if the, if the nation did not accept him, but neither the king of Egypt accepted him as, as a prophet, nor the nation as a whole of Egypt adopted him. So, but they were not devastated, annihilated, because he never claimed that I am messenger of Allah. 
So to be a prophet of Allah is something else. And to be a messenger of Allah is something else. So here you will find, you know, the mention of some of the prophets and the messengers also. Every messenger is definitely and necessarily a prophet also. Every prophet is not a messenger. But every messenger has to be a prophet first. And then actually he is selected and then he is assigned a job to a particular place or to a particular people. So here we find, you know, the mention and this account and some of the prophets and messengers of Allah, but not in the form of Abba'u Rusul, but in the way of Qasatun Nabiyyin. These are the stories of the prophets. Ibrahim And we had given Ibrahim min qabl. Before all these, we had given Ibrahim his guidance. وَكُنَّا بِهِ عَالَمِينَ And we knew him absolutely. Is قَالَ لَيَبِيهِ Now we have this mention, what Hazrat Ibrahim said to his father in Surah Maryam also. Here it is in a second, in a different way. Is قَالَ لَيَبِيهِ وَقَوْمِهِ Just recall when he said to his father and his nation, his people, مَا هَذِهِ التَّمَاسِرُ الَّتِي أَنْتُمْ لَهَا عَاكِفُونَ what are these images, these idols to which you are devoted? You sit concentrating your attention on them. Talu Vajadna Aba Analaha Abidin. They said, We found our forefathers doing like this, worshipping them. So we are following them. We don't know why. What's the basis? What's the rationale? We don't know. But we found our forefathers doing like this, worshipping them. So we are following them. Now in very strong words Ibrahim declared, no, not only you but also your forefathers, they were in manifest error, they were wrong, their way and path that they, that they had taken was wrong. Now they asked him, have you brought some absolute truths to us, or you are just joking. Maybe a young man is just joking. No, are you serious? Ajay haq have you brought to us some absolute truth, or you are just joking? Ta'ala bal rabbukum. He said, no, it's no joke. Your Lord is Rabbu samawati wal earth, the Lord of all the heavens and earth. Alladhi fatarahunna. Who created them? He is the Lord of the heavens and earth, and He is the creator of the heavens and the earth. Wa'ana ala zalikum shahideen. And I bear a testimony to this before you that I don't believe in any God except the Lord of the heavens and the earth, who is also the creator of the heavens and the earth. And by God, I'll devise a plot against your idols when you go out turning your backs. There was going to be some big worship in the open field. Just you have in India Durga Puja or Kali Mai Ki Puja. They go out in the field to make that worship. So the whole city was now empty. And Ibrahim said, well, I am not feeling well, I am not going with you. When the whole town was empty, then he entered the, there, you know, worshipping place where the idols were placed, and he broke all of them except one. So he said, Tallahi, by God, by Allah, I will certainly devise some plot against your idols after you have gone away, turning your backs. Fajalahum Josazan. So he broke them into pieces, fragments. Illa Kabir Allahum. Except the biggest idol. لَعَلَّهُمْ إِلَيْهِ يَرْجِعُونَ So that they should refer to him. <coughs> Ask him, who has done this? Talu, when they came back and they were startled, what has happened? Just imagine if such an event takes place in the city of Mathra or the city of Banaras in India, what would happen? Talu, مَنْ فَعَلَ هَذَا بِعَلِهَتِنَا who is the one who has done this to our, our Lord, our gods? In Nahula Minas Walimin, verily he is a very big culprit. He is 
an evil doer. Kalu samir na fatang yes kuro hum. Some people said we we heard a youth. He used to mention them. You kalu na hu Ibrahim, and his name is Ibrahim. He is called Ibrahim. He did use to mention them. Kalu fatu bhi ala ayur nas. They said okay, bring him forth. Before the eyes of the people, la Allahu ya shadoon, so that they also bear witness. Palu anta falta haza be ali hatena ya Ibrahim. And now they asked before that mob is there alone. The mob is there, and how angry that mob has would have been we can imagine. Palu anta falta haza be ali hatena ya Ibrahim. Oh Ibrahim, have you done this to our gods, our idols? قَالَ بَلْ فَعَلَهُ كَبِيرُهُمْ هَذَا فَسَلُوهُمْ إِنْ كَانُوا يَنْتِقُونَ He said, this, this bigger one must have done this. He is safe. All the other are broken. So you ask him. He is a witness. He must have seen who has done it. Or, might be he has done it. بَلْ فَعَلَهُ كَبِيرُهُمْ هَذَا فَسَلُوهُمْ إِنْ كَانُوا يَنْتِقُونَ Now if they speak, ask them. فَرَجَعُوا إِلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ Now this is the moment. When the truth dawned on them, so they turned to themselves and said, "Wakalu, in na kum antum zalimun." The truth of the matter is that actually you are the evil doers. What Ibrahim is saying is correct. They can't speak, they can't move. This bigger idol could not have broken all these smaller idols. Impossible. They can't move. They can't talk. And this one cannot tell us who did it. And then we worship him. Then, so the truth dawned on them. But then, summa no ke suwala kulo bahim. But then they were made to hang their heads down, saying, "Na kadalim kama aula yantakur." Oh, Ibrahim, you know these idols; they can't speak. Kala fatam buduna min duni lahe, mala yanfau kum shayin wala yaduro kum. He said, "Then you worship besides Allah these things." Who can neither give you any profits, nor they can do do you any harm? Uffil lakum, how disgusting! How disgusting! Uffil lakum, walima taabudun min dooni Allah, and these whom you are worshiping besides Allah, afala taqilun. So don't you ponder? You don't you think about it? Don't you understand? Palu harrequho. They decided and said, now burn him. Bansuru ali hatakum and help your gods because he has done this insult to the gods. So now he must be burned alive. In kuntum fa'ilin, if you are going to do something. But when he was thrown in the fire, kulna we said to the fire, kulna ya narukuni bardan wa salama lara Ibrahim. O fire, be you a coolness and safety for Ibrahim because. Fire is under the command of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. So any command of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala to fire or water or, or air, these elements of nature have to obey. Wa aradu bhi kaidan fajalna humu laksarin. They had devised a plot against him, but they were the worst losers. Why? Actually, they thought. That when Ibrahim will be presented and there will be fire, you know, big, and when he will come to understand that he has been going, he he would be thrown. Then you he will come to his senses, and he will apologize, and he will turn back to the beliefs of the community. But Ibrahim, you know, he persevered, although he was thrown, but Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala saved him. وَنَجَّيْنَاهُ وَلُوطًا إِلَى الْأَرْضِ الَّتِي بَارَكْنَا فِيهَا لِلْعَالَمِينَ But then Ibrahim made hijrah. He migrated from this country. Actually he was born in Iraq, in Ur. But now when the, the nation, you know, they, are, they actually put him in the fire to burn him. Now he had to make hijrah from there. This is the rule with the messengers of Allah. وَنَجَّيْنَاهُ And we rescued him, Ibrahim, وَلُوطًا And his nephew Lut, ilal ardil nati barakna fiha lil alamin, towards the land which we have blessed for the people of the world. 
وَوَحَبْنَا لَهُ إِسْحَاقَ وَيَعْقُوبَ نَافِلَا And then we bestowed upon him a son, Ishaq, alayhi salatu wa salam, by Yaqub, a grandson, Yaqub, alayhi salatu wa salam, nafil atal, in addition. وَكُلَّنْ جَعَلْنَا صَالِهِينَ And all of them we made very righteous people. وَجَعَلْنَا هُمْ عِمَّةً يَهْدُونَ بِعَمْرِنَا And we made them the leaders and guiders of humanity who used to guide people with our command. وَأَوْحَيْنَا إِلَيْهِمْ شَيْلَ الْخِرَاتِ And we sent them by revelation the good, how to do the good deeds by قَامَ الصَّلَاةِ and establishing of the prayers. وَإِتَعَ الزَّكَاةِ and paying of zakah. وَكَانُوا لَنَا عَابِدِينَ And they were, yes, they were worshipping us and they were all obedient to us. وَلُوتًا آتَيْنَاهُ حُكْمًا وَعِلْمًا In the same way to Lut also, we gave the judgment and knowledge. وَنَجَّيْنَاهُ مِنَ الْقَلْيَةِ الَّتِي كَانَ تَعْمَنُ الْخَبَائِسِ And we rescued him and delivered him from the city, from the township, whose people indulged in very foul and filthy deeds. Sodomy, you know, that was the bad deed of these people, of the cities of Saddam and Gomorrah. إِنَّهُمْ كَانُوا قَوْمًا سَوْئِنْ قَوْمَ سَوْئِنْ فَاسِقِينَ Verily they were an evil people, transgressors. وَأَدْخَلْنَاهُ فِي رَحْمَتِنَا And then we admitted him, Luth, in our mercy. إِنَّهُ مِنَ الصَّالِحِينَ Verily, he is from amongst the righteous people. وَنُوحًا إِذْ نَعْدَى مِنْ قَبْلِ And just mention Nuh, alayhi salatu wa salam. When he had called to us, called upon us, فَاسْتَجَبْنَا لَهُ وَنَجَّيْنَاهُ Then we responded. And we answered his call, his prayer. And we delivered him and his family, مِنَ الْكَرْبِ الْعَظِيمِ From the mighty distress. وَنَسَرْنَاهُ مِنَ الْقَوْمِ الَّذِينَ كَذَّبُوا بِآيَاتِنَا And we helped him against those people who had belied our revelations. إِنَّهُمْ كَانُوا قَوْمَ سَوْئِنْ They were also a very wicked people. وَأَخْفَا غَرَقْنَاهُ بَجْمَعِينَ So we drowned them all together, all of them. وَدَعْوُدَ وَسُلَيْمَانُ and here again is the mention of Dawood and Sulaiman, alayhim as-salatu wa salam. The son and the father. Dawood is the father, Sulaiman is the son. Is yahkuman fil hars, is nafashat fihi ghanamul qawm. When they were judging, you know, a dispute regarding a field, a farm, wherein certain people's sheep strayed, pastured and destroyed. اِذْ نَفِشَتْ فِيهِ غَنَمُ الْقَوْمِ وَكُنَّا لِحُكْمِهِمْ شَاهِدِينَ And when they were judging, they were giving their judgment, we were listening and we were present over there. You know, a person came with a complaint to Dawood alayhi salam salam. Well, there was a field which I had cultivated and my, you know, harvest was very, but the sheep and goats of this person, they entered it during the night and destroyed the whole of the field. Now what should I do? How to recompense? What should be the, you know, fine? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave a, an, an instantaneous insight to Hazrat Sulaiman He was young. He said, now this should be done. The flock of the sheep and goats should be given to this person whose field has been destroyed. He should keep them, eat of them, drink their milk. And this field should be again cultivated by the person whose sheep are here. When the field is ready, again harvest is okay, then the field will be given to the owner of the field and the flock of the sheep and goats will go back to the, to the person who owned them. So this judgment was very much liked. Fafaham Naha Sulaiman so we made Suleiman to understand it. وَكُلَّنْ آتَيْنَا حُكْمًا وَعِلْمًا And both of them, Dawood and Suleiman, to both of them we had given the judgment and knowledge. وَسَخَّرْنَا مَا دَعُودَ الْجِبَالِ And we had subjected the mountains for Dawood alayhi salam. يُسَبِّحْنَا 
to glorify their Lord with Him, and not only the mountains, also the birds. And we were the doers. And we taught him the making of the metal course for you. So as to protect you in your fighting. So will you then be grateful? And for Sulaiman we subjected the wind blowing strongly. Which blew moving at its command towards the land that we had blessed. And all the things were in our knowledge. And subjected, we subjected the satans, the jinns, for him. They used to die for him in the oceans. And did some other works also beside that. Build very big buildings for him. And we were watching over them. And mention Ayyub, alayhi salatu wa salam, is Nada Rabba, who had become very sick, very sick, very sick. Some skin disease, there were boils over the whole of the body, decaying, putrefied. Then you know there were insects moving in those wounds. So his family, his sons and daughters, they got fed up, left him. In the end, his wife also left him. But then he prayed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he remained, you know, sabir and shakir. Never complained to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that what you have done to me, whatever comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, okay. It's from him, so I accept it. This should be the attitude of a believer. So when he passed this test, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala listened to his prayer and granted him his prayer. Vayuba is nada rabbahu. When he called upon his Lord, Anni masani abdur, O my Lord, affliction has touched me. Vanta arhamur rahimin. And you are the most merciful of all who, those who have mercy. You are, you have the maximum mercy. It was the appeal. Fastajabna lahu. So we answered his call. Fakashafna ma bihim in durrin. And we removed the affliction with which he was afflicted. And we gave back him his family. All the family came back then to him. Another family. Might be he had then married again and he had another family. This is all as a gesture of our mercy. Or this is a admonition for the worshippers. By Ismail and Idris, I was al-Kifl. And Ismail and Idris and Zul Kifl, Kullum min al-Sabirin. They were all perseverant people. Now about Zul Kifl, let me tell you that Quran gives this name twice. But rest, no knowledge about it, who he was, where he was born, and which family lineage, whose lineage, was the progeny of Ibrahim or somebody else, you know nothing from Quran. And we don't have any details in Hadith also. But there is an opinion of some Olaba of India that Mahatma Gautama Buddha, Siddhartha Gautama Buddha was Zul Kifi because he was born in Kapal Vastu, Kapal Vastu, that you know state of the Raja of Kapal was to him and the son. So Kapal in Arabic becomes Kafal. Pay, pay is not there. P or pay is not there. It turns into F or Fa. So Zul Kafal, the person from Kapal, from Kapal was to. And it is just possible. It's just possible, but we can't be sure about it. Kullum in a All of them were from the persevering people. And we admitted them and made them enter our mercy. Definitely they were from the righteous. And 
the man of the of the fish. He is Jonah or Yunus alayhi salatu wasalam. He left his nation before the express permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the rule of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when a messenger is sent to some land or some people or some community and the community has rejected him. But he cannot leave the community or that place without the express permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is stationed there. He is deputed there. He is appointed there as, as messenger of Allah, a representative of Allah. But you know, he got so much fed up with the people and their arrogance that he left without the permission of Allah. So then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala punished him. He was swallowed by a big fish, maybe some whale. Uh, for some time he remained in the stomach of that whale. But then this whale, you know, vomited him out on the shore. And then, you know, he recovered. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepted his repenting and his toba and he, his apologies. Zannun is Zahab Abu Ghaziban. And Zannun, Noon means fish. Zannun, the, the man of fish. Recall when he went away enraged. And he thought, Fazanna Allah naqdir alayhi. And he thought, we could, no, we, we could not have or any power over him. Fanada of his zulumat. But then he had to call upon us. In the darkness of the stomach of that fish, that whale. La ilaha illa anta subhanaka inni kuntu minal zalimeen. There is no God except you, O Lord, O Allah. Glory be to you. Inni kuntu minal zalimeen. I accept that I was the evildoer. I have committed a mistake. I did wrong. I was wrong in leaving my nation before, without your express permission. And you may, may recall that, you know, when the permission was given to the companions by Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to migrate to Medina, he himself kept back at Mecca, waiting for the express permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu ta'ala used to ask him, O Messenger of Allah, has the permission come? No. Has the permission come? No. Because he was preparing two camels, feeding them and making them strong, so that we have to rush them from Makkah to Medina. So all preparation was done by Abu Bakr. But he kept on asking, has the permission come? And the Prophet said, no. Suddenly then, one moon, at moon, at noon, you know, it's very strange in the Arabian society, nobody visits others' house at noon, because they have that talula, they sleep during the noon. But at the noon, high noon, the Prophet came to the house of Hazrat Abu Bakr and told him that the permission has come. And then they started their journey. فَاسْتَجَبْنَا لَهُ So we answered the prayer of Yunus alayhi salam also. وَنَجَّيْنَاهُ مِنَ الْغَمْ And we delivered him from the grief. وَكَذَلِكَ نُنْجِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ And in this manner, this is our rule, that we deliver the believers. But Zakariyah, and just mention Zakariyah, alayhi salatu wasalam, his story we have just read in Surah Maryam. That was a full section. Here is only two ayat. But Zakariyah is nada rabbahu. When he called upon his Lord, Rabbi la tadarni fardam. Oh my Lord, don't leave me alone without a son. Alone. If I die, my name is gone. My dynasty finished. And who will look after the mission of the, the prophetic mission that you have entrusted to me? Who will take it over? La tadarni fardan wa anta khairul warisin. You are the best inheritor, okay? If I don't have an inheritor, you are the best inheritor. I accept, but it would be better if you give me a son. Fastajabna lahu. So we answered his prayer also. Wabahabna lahu yahya. And we bestowed upon him a son, Yahya. Waslahna lahu zawjahu. And we cured for him his wife, who had been barren up till that time. But now she conceived and she bore a son. In the hum kanu yusareuna fil khairat. These people, this family as a whole, 
they were the people who were competing each other in good deeds. Everyone wanted to go forward, go forward. And this is the a society of the believers. Each one of them wants to do more, more good. Not competing in the worldly things. Well, if he has a big house, I should have a bigger one. No, no, no. The competition is in good deeds, in the service to Allah, in the service for His deen. Who, who goes more? Who does more? So that was, يُسَارِعُونَ فِي الْخَيْرَاتِ وَيَدْعُونَنَا رَغَبًا وَرَحْبًا And they used to call upon us, make dua to us, and in both ways. رَغَبًا Having, you know, that we should uh, give them mercy, وَرَحْبًا and fearing us also. So this calling upon Allah should have both these things. He should have fear also and hope also. Hope of His forgiveness. Fear of His punishment. And they were very humble before us. Now the last mention is of Maryam. And that girl or woman who had guarded her chastity fully, then we blew in her, from our own spirit. And we made her and her son signs for the worlds. Now as if Allah is addressing these people, Ibrahim, Nuh, Lut, and Yunus, and all these people, the messengers and prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Inna hazihi ummatukum ummatum wahida. O prophets and messengers, this is the community of yours and it is one community. We have made communities separate. This is the community or ummah of Musa. This is the community or ummah of Isa. This is the community and ummah of such and such Nabi. No. It's all one. You are all one. They were all servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They all believed in one God. They were all sent by the same Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So in Nahadihi Ummatukum Ummatum Wahida. This community of yours is one community. Wana Rabbukum Fabudun. And I am your Lord. So continue worshipping me. Watakatahu Amrahum Bainahum Kullun Lena Rajirun. But then they split up their affairs among them. And they all will return to us. After these people passed away, now there were the sects. They are the Jews, they are the, the Christians, and these are such and these are such. From my Yamal Mina Salihat, now what is the rule with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Whosoever does good deeds, Bahuwa Mu'minun. And the condition is that he should be a believer. Fala Kufran al Sayyahi. So his striving for good deeds will not be rejected or disapproved. Wa inna lahu katibun, and we are writing and recording all the good deeds they are, they are doing. Wa haramun ala qariyatin ahlakna ha nahum la yarjiun, and it is forbidden for the people of a city which is going to be destroyed, for which Allah's command is destruction. The final chastisement from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now it is forbidden for the people, they can't return. It have, can have two meanings. They can't repent. They can't go to Allah's, you know, call and accept it. Because now the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has already come. فَتَبَ اللَّهُ عَلَىٰ قُلُوبِهِمْ وَعَلَىٰ سَمْرِهِمْ وَعَلَىٰ أَفْصَارِهِمْ يُشَاوَىٰ Now they cannot come back. Secondly, again, once destroyed and gone from this world, they cannot return to this world. They are gone, gone by the wind. They cannot come back. This thing with the communities will continue happening till such time that the Gog and Magog are opened, let loose. And you will see them. They will be coming down from every mound. Now who are these Gog and Magog? It's a controversial issue. One thing is sure. Gog and Magog are among the names of the sons of the third of the 
تھرڈ سن آف نو علیہ السلام نو علیہ السلام کو سلام ہے تھری سنس سام ہام یا فس دی پروجنی آف سام سیٹلڈ بیکاز یو نو دے ہیڈ نو لیو دی ایریا وچ وی وی کال ٹوڈے کردستان دس از اے پلیس ویئر تھری فور کنٹریز میٹ ٹوگیدر نارتھ آف عراق نارتھ ویسٹ آف ایران ایسٹ آف ترکی اینڈ سیریا and then Russia or the USSR, the Caucasia. These countries merge here and this was the place abode of Hazrat Anu a.s. and his people. And there is that hillock, you know, where the ark came to stay after the flood was gone. Now from there, you know, these three sons, when they came out from the ark, so Sam descended southward. Iraq, Sham, and the Arabian Peninsula. These nations were called the Semitic nations. Ibrahim was Semitic. He was from Iraq. Syrians, Semitic. Arabians, Semitic. Muhammad is Semitic, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. All the uh, prophets of the Old Testament, they are all progeny of Ibrahim, they are Semitic. <coughs> Number two, Ham. The progeny of Ham spread to the east and to the west, not downward, not to the south. Iran and India. And on the other side, Egypt and Sudan. And some east European countries. This is the progeny of Hazrat Ham. But the progeny of Hazrat Yafis that crossed over the mountains of Central Asia. And then they spread to the east and the west. So China, Mongolia. Russia, because among their sons is Tobal and Mosk. One name is Mosk. Maybe Moscow might have been, you know, founded by that son of Yafis. So these are the nations of Gog and Magog. And they were the people to, for them, you know, that wall was erected by, as we, we, we had read in Surah Al-Kahf, by Dhul Karnayn, between the Caspian Sea and the Black Sea. This is, you know, a very broad pass through which these people used to come and plunder the, the nations which were settled in the plains in the, to the south. But then he erected the wall over there and stopped so that they couldn't come and invade. So these are Gog and Magog. And it is in the Ahadis also, in many details, that near the end of this world, <coughs> near Qiyamah, these nations will be let loose. They will bring havoc to this globe, destruction and havoc. And their final confrontation would be with Hazrat Isa alayhi salatu wa salam. And even Hazrat Isa would have to withdraw from them to the mountains. They will be so you formidable force, you know. They will drink all the water of the sea. The sea of Galilee will go dry because they will, they will drink each and every drop of it. Now this sea... With Quran says, Bin Kulli Hadami and Saloon, you will see these nations coming down, sliding down from all the slopes. This scene has once happened in history in 1962, when there was a war between India and China. And you know, the reports in the newspapers were waves after waves of the Chinese soldiers were descending from the mountains, and what humiliation! had, you know, India had to face at that time a very big defeat, very shameful defeat at the hands of the... because in numbers they are very great, Chinese, and all this area, you know. So they are from the Gog and Magog, and they are all the progeny of Hadrati Yafis alayhi salatu wa salam. Hatta idha futihat yajuju wa majuj. Now this means when that hour will come near of Qiyamah or Asa'ah, and these Yajuj and Majuj will be let loose. And you will see them coming down from all the slopes. Maybe the slopes of the mountains of the Central Asia also. And slopes of Himalayas, just as it was in the Nefa in 1962. Slopes of Himalayas, and they are coming down. Waves and waves of Chinese soldiers coming. You kill one, the other wave is coming. You, you murder all of them, the third wave is coming. So waves after waves of Chinese soldiers were coming down the slopes of the Himalayans. 
وَقْتَرَبَلْ وَعَدُ الْحَقِّ And at that time, the promise, time of that promise would come near. وَعَدُ الْحَقِّ That is of the hour, the doomsday, the day of resurrection. فَإِذَا هِيَا شَاخِزَةُ النَّبْصَارُ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا And you will find that at that time, that the eyes of the disbelievers would be staring in terror. قَالُوا يَا وَيْلَدَا They will say, Woe to us! قَدْ كُنَّا فِي غَفْلَةٍ مِّنْ هَذَا We were heedless of this. We were never thought seriously that this can come to happen. The messengers of Allah foretold, but we never believed in them. بَلْ كُنَّا ظَالِمِينَ We were actually the evil doers. إِنَّكُمْ وَمَا تَعْبُدُونَ مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ حَسَمُ جَهَنَّمْ But now, no use. Now you have to be, not only you, but those whom you have been worshipping, your idols, they will all be thrown in the fire of hell and they will become, you know, a sort of wood. حَسَمُ جَهَنَّمْ There they will be burnt away. لَوْ قَادَ هَاُولَاءِ آلِهَةً And at that time they will think that if these idols were gods, مَا وَرَدُوهَا They should not have come to this fire of hell. وَكُلُّ الْفِيَا خَالِدُونَ But all of them will have to live there forever, for eternity. لَهُمْ فِيَا زَفِيرٌ وَهُمْ فِيَا لَا يَسْمَعُونَ They will be sighing there with deep sorrow and grief. But they will be able to listen nothing. إِنَّ الَّذِينَ سَبَقَتْ لَهُمْ مِنَّ الْحُسْنَى On the contrary, verily those for whom a good word has already passed from us, ordained, we have ordained already. أُولَائِكَ أَنْهَا بُبَعْدُونَ They will kept away from this jahannam, this hell. لَا يَسْمَعُونَ حَسِيسَ They will not have to hear only even its whisper. وَهُمْ فِي بَشْتَحَتْ أَنْفُسُونَ خَالِدُونَ And they will abide forever in those things which their souls desire. لَا يَحْزَنُهُمُ الْفَضُ الْأَكْبَرِ The great terror shall not grieve them of Zalzala. Zalzala to Sa'a. The next surah is going to begin very soon. And the first word is, إِنَّ زَلْزَلَ تَسَعَةِ شَيْءٌ عَظِيمٌ The earthquake at the time of the doomsday would be a very great event. But these people, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, will save them. Will save them. The great terror shall not grieve them. لَا يَحْزَنُهُمُ فَضَعُ الْأَكْبَرِ وَتَتَلَقَّهُمُ الْمَلَائِكَةُ And Malaika, the angels will come and greet them. هَذَا يَوْمُكُمُ الَّذِي كُنْتُمْ تُوَعْدُونَ Now this day has come, which was promised to you. That is, now you will enter paradise. يَوْمَ نَتْوِ السَّمَاءَ كَتَيَّ السِّجِلَّ لِلْكُتُبِ Just imagine the day, the doomsday. When we shall roll up, when we shall roll up all the heavens, just as the rolling of a scroll for writing. You know, in the ancient days, books were not bound like this. They used to be in scrolls. One paper you have written, now paste another one. And you just roll it. And now second you are rolling. Rolling and rolling on, writing and rolling. So these are called the scrolls. Now today we don't have scrolls. <laughs> we have books, bound books. Leaves and bound books. But the simile here is, يَوْمَ نَتْوِ السَّمَاءَ كَتَيَّ السِّجِلَّ لِلْكُتُبِ The day when we shall roll up heaven like the rolling up of a scroll for writing. كَمَا بَدَانَا أَوَّلَ خَلْقٍ وَعِدَهُ As we had originated them in the first creation, we shall restore it. وَعَدًا عَلَيْنَا This is a promise binding on us. إِنَّا كُنَّا فَعِلِينَ and we shall definitely do it. Now here we can understand there is the theory of expanding universe. The universe is expanding. Expanding, 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 going on. But then there is a theory. The time will come when expansion will start. And inward rolling, reverse rolling will start. And that inward rolling might be the whole universe again comes to one spot. Just as the galaxies have come to one spot, Holes which we call the black holes, you know, in, in, the, in the space, black holes. There used to be some very big galaxy over here. It collapsed and now there is only a hole, very dreadly hole. Anything passing by that 
goes there and vanishes. So in the same way, this whole universe might become again, you know, it started from one point, the Big Bang. And Big Bang, it started expanding and expanding and expanding. But a time will come when it will roll back and it will again come to the starting point. Kama badana awwala khalqin wa'iduhu. As we had originated them in the first creation, we shall make them return to the same. وَلَقَدْ كَتَمْنَا فِي الزُّبُورِ مِنْ بَعْدِ الزِّكْرِ And we had write, written it down in Zabur, in Psalms, after the admonition, أَنَّ الْأَرْضَ يَرِسُهَا عِبَادِيَ الصَّالِحُونَ That the earth will inherit the land <coughs> by righteous servants will inherit the land, the earth. Now it, has, it can have two means. Meanings, number one, that the, the earth here, the land here, which is mentioned is the land of paradise. The land of paradise will be inherited by people who have done good deeds, the believers. Another thing can mean that before the end of this world, a time will come that the whole this world will be ruled by the people who are righteous, who are servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And to this effect we have a clear prophecy of the Prophet sallallahu that before the end of this world, Islam will dominate the whole of the globe. لا يبقى على ظهر الأرض بيت وبر ولا بدر إلا أدخله الله كلمة الإسلام. The Hadith in Musnad Ahmad ibn Hanbal from Mi'dad ibn Aswad رضي الله عنه that not a single house will remain made of bricks and clay, and not a single tent will remain of the nomads in which Allah will not make the deen of Allah, Islam, enter. This will happen. So a global domination of the deen of Allah. This is Khilafa ala min hajir nabuwa. And the Prophet has said, this period will come again. The Khilafa ala min hajir nabuwa, just after the death of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that was the Khilafa rashida, we know it. The Caliphate, pious Caliphate, the same system will again be established on this earth. So that, this ayah can mean that also. وَلَقَدْ كَتَبْنَا فِي الزَّبُورِ مِنْ بَعْدِ الزِّكْرِ أَنَّ الْأَرْضَ يَرِسُهَا عِبَادِيَ الصَّالِحُونَ We had already written in Zabur, in Psalms, after the admonition, that this land will be inherited by our righteous servants. Either before the end of this world, there is a global domination of the Muslim Ummah and Islam established as a deen, as a social order over the whole of the world. Or after the end of this world, the land of paradise will be inherited by our righteous servants. In the fihada la balaga le kawmin abedin, and in this is surely a message for the worshippers who worship us. Wama arsalna ka illa rahmatan lil alamin, and we have not sent you, O Muhammad, but a mercy for all the nations of the world. This is again a hint, because if he has been sent for the whole of the world, now his deen, which he brought with him, must be dominant over the whole of the world. He has, he was sent by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with the, this deen of haqq in order to make it supreme. So when he has been sent for the whole of humanity and for all the world, so then the deen of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and that is deenul haq, that is deenul lah, deenul lah and deenul Muhammad the same, that will dominate the whole of the globe. قُلْ إِنَّمَا يُحَا إِلَيَّا إِنَّمَا إِلَاهُكُمْ إِلَاهُ وَاحِدٍ Tell them, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, this is being revealed to me, this wahi has come to me, that your Lord is only one God. فَعَلَنْ تُمْ مُسْلِمُونَ So do you surrender yourself to him or not? فَإِنْ تَوَلَّوْا if they turn their faces, فَقُلْ آذَنْتُكُمْ عَلَىٰ سَوَىٰ So proclaim that I have conveyed to you the message, alike, all alike. I have spoken to the rich, to the poor. I have spoken to the high, to the low. I have preached in your streets. I have knocked at your doors. I have talked to you in privately. I have addressed you in public. I have done whatever I could do. Adan to kumara sawa. Vain adriya karibun baidu matu adun. Now this I don't know. Whether the 
chastisement that is promised to you has come near or it is a bit far off. Maybe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives you a further respite. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe that chastisement has come to your doorsteps. I don't know. This is this knowledge is with Allah. Innahu ya'lamul jahra min al qal. He, Allah, knows whatever is spoken aloud. Wa ya'lamu ma taktubun. And He knows what you can see in your hearts. He knows everything. Wa in adri la'allahu fi atnu tallakum. And I don't know. I can't say. Maybe it is going to be another test for you. Wa mataun ilahin. Or maybe an enjoyment, a respite for some time. Qala rabbihkum bil haq. And finally, the Prophet, now he is calling upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rabbihkum bil haq. Oh my Lord, now give the judgment, final judgment with truth. These words depict the psychological position of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He was also now fed up. I have taken much pains. I have spent 10, 11 years in a small city. And I have been preaching here for 10, 10, 11, 12 long years. So now, oh Lord, your judgment should come. Qala rabbihkum bil haq. Oh my Lord, now give the final judgment with truth. Barabbuna ar-Rahman al-Musta'an wa ala ma tasifoon. And our Lord is Rahman, the compassionate one. And only His help can be sought on those things which you are describing about Him. Now the next surah, Surah Al-Hajj. Actually these three surahs after, as I told you before, from Surah Yunus to this Surah al -Lambiya. These are twelve surahs. And subdivided into four subgroups of three surahs. Surah Yunus, Surah Hud, Surah Yusuf. One subgroup. Surah Raad, Surah Ibrahim, Surah Hijr, second subgroup. Surah Al-Nahl, Surah Al-Bani Israel, Surah Al-Kahf, third group. Surah Al-Maryam, Surah Al-Taha, Surah Al-Anbiya, fourth group. And now Al-Hajj and Al-Mu'minun, they are a pair. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Ya Ayyuhal Nas, Ittaku Rabbakum. O mankind, have fear of your Lord. Inna zaldalat as-saat shayun azim. Verily, indeed, the earthquake of that hour, Asa, is going to be a mighty thing. You know, this whole solar system will be disturbed. As we have in Surah Qiyama, this moon will plunge into sun. They will come together. What will happen, you know? So you can't imagine. In Nazal Dalat Asa, Tashayu Naseem, all these mountains turned into dust, moving. Just like clouds, or just like cotton, or wool. All these mountains, the Himalayas, everything. What will be happening at that time? Nobody can imagine. In Nazal Dalat Asaat Shayun Azim. When that appointed hour comes, the shaking of that time would be very mighty, very great thing. Yawma Tarawna, the day when you will see it, Tazhalu Kullu Murziyatin Namma Arzat. Every suckling mother would just forget the baby. Now this is the most affectionate relationship, mother and the baby. In the human beings as well as animals. But no, everybody would be caring for him and her alone. Even the suckling mothers will just forget their babies. And all the pregnant females will lay down there. Pregnancy, their burden. Watarannasa sukara. And you will see people as if they are drunk. Vamahum be sukara. But they are not drunk. Walakin azab Allah is shadid. But the chastisement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is very severe. Wamin al nasiman yujadul of Allah be very ilmin. Wayatabeo kulla shaitani marid. And there are among people who <coughs> dispute concerning Allah. Although he has no knowledge, <coughs> he is arguing. But he has no knowledge whatsoever, without having any knowledge. And 
and he follows all the rebellious satans. Yani, as if he is a very big, you know, scholar and he is arguing against Allah, against Deen. But if you look to his character, he is a friend of Satan. He is following the ways of Satan. So these are the people, the scholars, the so-called, you know, the intelligentsia of today. وَمِنَ النَّاسِ مَنْ يُجَادُرَ فِي اللَّهِ بِغَيْرِ عِلْمٍ وَيَتَّبَعُ كُلَّ شَيْطَانِ مَرِيدٍ كُتِبَ عَلَيْهِ It has been prescribed on him, that is the Satan. What has been prescribed for the Satan? مَنْ تَوَلَّاهُ Whosoever will become a friend of him, فَإِنَّهُ يُضِلُّهُ He will definitely lead him astray, وَيَهْدِيهِ إِلَىٰ عَذَابِ السَّعِيرِ And he will guide him to the chastisement of the burning fire. Ya Yohannas, O people, O mankind, in kuntum fi rabi min al-baas, if you have any doubts about resurrection, how can we be resurrected? How can we be made alive again when we shall become bones and dust and nothing else? You have doubts? Now you look to your creation, your own creation. فَإِنَّا خَلَقْنَاكُمْ مِنْ تُرَابٍ You know, we created you out of clay. سُمَّ مِنْ نُطْفَةٍ Then the second stage of your creation was the sperm drop. سُمَّ مِنْ عَلَقَةٍ After that, the third stage, a hanging piece from the wall of the womb of the mother, like a leech is. سُمَّ مِنْ مُزْغَةٍ Then a lump of flesh. مُخَلَّقَةٍ وَغَيْرَ مُخَلَّقَةٍ Formed and unformed. لِنُبَيِّنَ لَكُمْ So that we tell you through which stages you have come here in this world. وَنُقِنُوا فِي الْرَحَامِ مَا نَشَا And we settle in the wombs of the mothers, whatever we like. A male child or female child. مَا إِلَىٰ عَجَلٍ مُسَمَّا We keep it there till a fixed period. سُمَّ نُخْرِجُكُمْ تِفْلَا Then we take you out as babies. سُمَّ لِتَبْلُغُوا أَشُدَّكُمْ and then you reach and attain your puberty and maturity. And from amongst you are those also who die, die young. And you, some of you are returned to the most senile age. So that they, he doesn't know anything after the knowledge he had. In the beginning he had no knowledge, but then he had the, all the knowledge, he attained, you know, education, and he was a PhD, and this and that, but then when he is now 100 years old, now all knowledge gone. Senility has overtaken. What happened to Reagan? He couldn't, <laughs> he was recognizing only his wife and none else, a person who was ruling this world at a time. But this happens. So actually, كَيْلَا يَعْلَمَا مِنْ بَعْدِ إِلْمِ شَيْعَ وَتَرَ الْأَرْضَ بَعْرِضَ حَامِدَةً And you see the land, you know, lying low. فَإِذَا أَنزَلْنَا عَلَيْهَ الْمَا But when we send down water on it, rain comes. أَحْتَزَّتْ وَرَبَتْ It stirs and swells. وَأَمْبَتَتْ فِنْ كُلْ دِزَوْدٍ بَحِيج And then, it grows every kind of lovely growth. So you have two observations. Your own creation from dust, then sperm drop, then alaka, then musga, all these stages. Then you come out as a baby. Then you are young, fully adult. In the same way, a land lying barren. Nothing, no life, no signs of life whatsoever. Rain comes and there is life. You see there is vegetation. So, the God that is doing all this, can't He create you again? This is the argument which comes in Quran many times. This is so because Allah is the one who is the truth, the absolute truth. And that he will revive the dead. And that he is powerful over everything. 
and that appointed hour will come. There's no doubt about it. And Allah will definitely, surely raise them who are in the graves. Again repeating the same. But there are people who go on disputing, are going about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How can he do it? Although they have no knowledge, they have no guidance, they don't have any book with them. No divine, no divine book. He bends his side with arrogance so that he takes people away from the way of Allah, prevents them from the way of Allah. For them in this world is also humiliation. And on the day of judgment, on the day of resurrection, we shall make them taste the chastisement of fire, burning fire. بارك الله لي ولكم في القرآن العظيم ونفعني وإياكم بالآيات والذكر الحكيم الله أكبر الله أكبر The Islamic Organization of North America, Iona, is an organization dedicated to reviving the Quran into the hearts of Muslims while bringing its message to non-Muslims. The obligations of a Muslim as ordained by the Quran and Sunnah can be understood as having four levels. 1. A Muslim is required to develop real faith and conviction, Iman, in one's heart. 2. A Muslim is required to live a life of complete submission to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 3. A Muslim is required to propagate and disseminate the message of Islam to humanity as a whole. 4. A Muslim is required to try his utmost in establishing the just Islamic order. The first and foremost objective of establishing Iona is to assist the Muslims in North America to uphold and implement these obligations first on themselves, their families, inform their friends, and then to invite the non-Muslims to Islam. The ultimate goal is to seek Allah's pleasure and salvation in the hereafter. For more information about Iona, please visit us at www.tanzim.us. You may also email us at info at tanzeem.us or call our toll-free number 866-779-IONA. Join us. Together we can make a difference.